Hi, we're back in the 15-foot growing dome. It's December 15th. Just snowed the other night, but we're going to go ahead and do some harvesting and harvest uh, some nice fresh vegetables for dinner tonight. So, Dana, will you tell us a little bit more about what we're going to be doing today? Well, we're going to harvest mostly leafy greens today. I think we're going to do some arugula, some chard, and probably some spinach. Uh, basically, the method that we're using is that we're doing a, a cut and come back for more method. So you'll see that when we're cutting, um, we're making sure to, one, make sure that plants are mature enough so that they have enough energy storage to keep growing. And then we're going we're gonna to cut above the growing point on all of these leafy plants. Leafy greens have a central growing point, and then they've got leaves coming out around. So we don't want to cut off the growing point where there's tiny leaves coming out because then um, we won't be able to keep harvesting. So we're going to cut above the growing point, and you know that you've cut below it if you cut and there's still leaves attached at the bottom. So that's not great, um, at least for the style of harvesting that we're doing. So let's get started. As Dana mentioned, we're harvesting arugula, and you do want to stay above the growing point, which is down here. Um, so we cut off a single leaf, and the larger sizes will generally be a little spicier as opposed to the smaller ones which are a little sweeter um, prefer it, you know, based on your preference. Uh, a lot of people tend to like the smaller leaves when it comes to arugula. And the nice thing about arugula is it's high in vitamins A, C, and potassium. So it's a good source of those things and you know we enjoy uh, growing it so we just make sure to keep um, pruning it along here. Alrighty, so I'm going to harvest some chard. It's a member of the beet family. And uh, similarly to the arugula, I'm going to cut above the growing point. Um, chard is a really tasty green. Um, when the leaves are larger, you can use them in a stir fry. You can also harvest smaller leaves and just use them straight in a salad. Again, I'm cutting above the growing point so that way this will come back and we can have more chard in a couple weeks here. What we're going to be harvesting now is uh, some spinach. Uh, the great thing about spinach is you can harvest it once there's only five, you only need to have five or six leaves around. You can see we've let ours go a little bit longer, try to get a little more size. Um, people like it when it's smaller, it's more tender, just like other things. Um, however, it does spoil quickly, so keep in mind that you know if you're going to take a lot of it, you may want to uh, steam it or something so you, and freeze it for you know, later use. Um, that's one method you could use to deal with it. Thank you for joining us for our harvest day this time. You'll find lots of information about harvesting in the below blog post. We're also going to talk next time about how we're going to track all of our harvesting, so um, how we're actually measuring how much food we're producing and comparing that to how much we would be spending at the store. So hope you'll join us next time. See you soon.